What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. I really appreciate you subscribing to this new YouTube channel of mine. You can even go over to martymusic.com. I appreciate you signing the newsletter. All that support is greatly appreciated. Anyway, in this video, this is a four-part series, and this is part one of very valuable things to practice to get better at lead guitar. And when I say practice, I mean things that you can run um, when you're not even, you know, you're watching TV or you're paying attention to something else, you can put this in your practice routine, do this for like five minutes, ten minutes, and when it is time to work on some fundamentals, learn a lick, learn a famous solo, this practice time and this thing is going to help you so much. Um, and it's just my own opinion from personal experience, but this first part is going to be just running the straight up minor pentatonic up and down. All four of these videos are going to be in the key of A, so you can put them all together. And I think it will really help you. So we'll zoom in and we'll break it down. Also, real quick, at the end of this video, you're going to see a link for the next thing to practice after this. So like I said, these are just little things that you can put into a little practice schedule. Even if you got 20 minutes, I promise it'll make you better at lead guitar. So let's zoom in and break it down. Here we go. All right, so this first thing is just the straight up minor pentatonic scale. Uh, we're doing it in the key of A, so all these videos in this four-part series is all the same key, so you can practice it over a jam track in the key of A, or like blues in A would be a great thing to, you know, practice this over. So anyway, we're finding the root, so it's the A minor pentatonic scale, we're finding the root on the E string, so the A note is right here on the fifth fret of the E string, and then we go five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. And then back down is the opposite. Eight, five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five. And that's, you know, the building blocks for lots of solos. You know, songs. Etc. You know, it's it's everything. So what I recommend, and even if it's for five minutes, practice going up and down without a beginning or an end. One note each, like this. And if you time yourself for five minutes doing this, it's going to feel like a long time, and you will really get a lot of improvement out of it. So here we go again. Even if you're not plugged in or you're having a conversation and you're just going up and down, okay? The next, you can start with all down picks if, that's, if you're a beginner. As you progress, you wanna alternate your picking down, up, down, up, down, up, and that's just a technical thing that's going to get you better and better at guitar in general. Become a better musician. So alternating your picking, you start with a down pick, then an up pick. No beginning or end as you practice, even for three minutes. Okay, and then another thing, as you get better, you can practice it as well in triplets, which is a rhythmic term, which means three notes per count over four counts. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, instead of one and two and three and four and, which would be called eighth notes. So triplets sound like this. One, two, three, four, triple, 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 triple. No beginning or end until you're done, and you just want to just remember what feels like home base, which is that root right there. So you can go up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, five minutes are up. Let me just, you know, just make sure I know what sounds like home. 
And there are other A's or roots in this position. It would also be right there, seventh of the D, and then fifth of the high E. All right, and so something that you can do musically right away is just uh, after you're getting smoother with the ups and downs, repeat little parts of it, and now it actually starts to become musical. Even though right now this little series is not about necessarily creating great music, right? We're doing um, more of like when an athlete does a day of conditioning and they do a day of fundamentals and they go a day through, you know, another skill, blah, 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 blah. This is kind of more of a of a, uh, a little bit of conditioning with fundamentals, muscle memory programming. So repeating little ideas, you could just, you know, go up and down and just repeat an idea like this. See that? So I just took three of the notes of it and repeated it. And you'll find if you have to repeat like a group of three or an odd number, you'll find your finger starting to have to roll over on the same fret. It'll force techniques to be practiced. So that's just, you know, as you get better at running the scale up and down, you're good. Another thing, though, is just learning licks, and the licks will actually come from the scale. So as you learn licks, if you spent time practicing the scale, the lick will feel more natural when it's time to learn it. Therefore, you'll learn it faster, play it more efficiently, and become more musical Become more musical faster. And that's, you know, the goal of things to practice. So, once again, the just straight minor pentatonic, up and down with no ending for five minutes, and you will feel a vast improvement, especially if you are the type of person, which I'm not, but people ask me for practice routines. If you did this five minutes a day along with the other three things, it will be amazing. I promise. I know it. I know it as a guitar teacher. So anyway, that's the first thing. And uh, get to it. All right. There it was. You know, it's so valuable. I'm telling you. Um, the minor pentatonic scale, uh, it's kind of the uh, structure for a lot of the lead guitar that, that we all love from rock and blues. So I think it'll really help you, even if it's just five minutes at a time. So real quick, at the, right after I'm doing my spiel here, you're going to see a, a video square that you can click onto to the next thing to practice in this series, and I think it'll be very valuable. So thanks again for supporting Marty Music. I really appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.